Where you go, I'll go Where you stay, I'll stay When you move, I'll move I will follow My name is Norman Wood uh, and I'm a son of the Most High God, a most gracious and loving God. Uh, I'm husband to Tina Wood, which is the prettiest and godliest woman east of the Pacific Ocean, in my opinion. Uh, I'm father of Rachel and uh, Becky and Christian Wood, which Rachel and Becky are now married, and then grandfather to Eva and Ellie Plemons and uh, Piper Irene Eastep. And I'm also son in the natural to Francis and Norman Wood and son-in-law uh, in Chuddy's at the end, but definitely not the least important to uh, Sarah Christ. That was a long introduction, I understand, but th probably the reason I did that is that's um, the big part of my ministry. I feel like that uh, my family, my wife and children and grandchildren are probably the most important thing in my life next to Jesus. And um, that's why we homeschool our kids. and. That's why we get opportunity to work back in children's church. And um, it's just a big part of our life. For anyone who knows Norman Wood, I believe they could say he is an all for one guy. Um, I get to work with him every day. I've worked with him now as a, as a business partner for seven years. Uh, and he is a godly man on the job. He's encouraged me uh, to do better, to work harder. Um, he is a, a godly man at home. He, he loves his family. Uh, he loves his grandchildren and his daughter. And he's, he's, I believe he's helped me be a better man just getting to know him. My first ministry is to Jesus, and, and I feel like it's just as simple almost as, as living out this awesome new life He's given me with uh, thankfulness and yieldedness. And we try to model that to our children and our grandchildren in hopes that they will uh, see the beauty in it and adapt the same life that we've chosen. And thirdly, uh, is in my work, which I'm a home builder, and I feel like um, if I walk with integrity and honesty in front of uh, the people I work for, that, you know, I'll get to model the same thing to them. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11, it says, And also make it your goal to live quietly, to do your work, and to earn your own living as we ordered. Then your way of life will win the respect of those outside the church and you won't have to depend on anyone else for what you need. And then, this is out of a little devotion uh, that we read, it says, What I require of you is to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with me wherever I lead. And I think that kind of sums up Tina's and my, our lifestyle and our, our goals in life. What we call secular life and ministry, really, that's a, should, that's a line that we've created and it shouldn't be there and that, that really it's all, man, our life is ministry. What an awesome thing to be a part of the body of Christ. And one thing that I enjoy about New Covenant is there are lots of people who are really serious about their relationship with Jesus. Uh, it's allowed me to be around, especially around men uh, that are uh, older and more mature than myself and, and have more wisdom than I do. And I've, I've got the name too, Jim, Marks and George Rowland, and if I ever hit a problem I can't solve, I know either Jim has lived there or George knows something about it. <laughs> so what a wonderful opportunity. If I were a chef and New Covenant was a salad, um, I think one of the flavors that I would add would be to realize that destiny is daily and calling is current. And if we, if we so focus on, uh, I'm called to do this or I'm called to do that, and we have a tremendous destiny, it's all in the future, we miss tremendous opportunity today. And so Jesus has got loads of stuff for us to do today. My ministry is to the people I build houses for. Um, it's, you know, to the people at Lowe's and all the people I, I knock heads with every day. And, and then, and then my ministry is to my family, to my wife and children and grandchildren. But ultimately, my ministry is all for one.